Good morning, YouTube, because I'm sure most of you are going to be watching this in the morning. It's 11.30 at night. It's late. I'm on the West Coast, guys, so it's 2.30 in East Coast. I, I guarantee you no one's, you know, really up over there at the moment unless they got insomnia issues like I do. But anyways, um, oh, what we're going to do here is a quick results video and how to properly bankroll manage. Um, this is going to be an important video, guys. Um, I'm doing it on the fly. It's late. Forgive me. But I'm trying to teach you guys just how to be smart with your stuff there. If you look at the top, it says I have $30 in entries and only $9.60 in winnings. The thing is, at least I have winnings today, guys. If you have entry fees at the top and you don't have any winnings at all, you're screwed because the next day you're going to make a deposit. You're one of those people that's making a $10 minimum deposit every goddamn day. You don't want to be them, okay? So, I mean, even if you play for fun and, you know, you're just dropping 100 bucks in or whatever every month or year or whatever because it's like movie tickets to you and you don't care. This, when I talk about smart bankroll management, think about playing this game like you're playing a lottery ticket. Like, I've got scratchers. I'm going to post a scratcher video. It might even come out a second before this one, because I've already filmed one where I have a winner on it. But this is like a lottery ticket, guys. And I'm going to explain why in just a second when I go through prize structures and everything else. Now, the first thing we're going to do, though, is analyze this. my best score. My best score today was 338, which is at the top here. And you can see number 46. I barely barely cashed with this. Cousins getting 70 for me. Gibson at 33. Gay at 33. I mean, Gibson paid, like I was saying, like, you know, compared to Davis, you know, Davis needs to get 66. Wow, uh, so take Gibson instead. Lee, I expected him to get 30 on the computers, and I thought it was high. It, 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 it still paid value, but on a night like tonight, it didn't matter. J. Rue Holiday was bomb, though, because we kind of knew that with, um, I'm forgetting the names at this point, but we had an injury in there. I think it was Gordon, Eric Gordon, no, not the other Aaron Gordon, the the other Gordon. But anyways, Chalmers. The thing was a Memphis quadruple stack today was the big winner. If you took all the Memphis guys at the last second, and they ended up winning, which was the shock. So I'm gonna go over to the SWAT here, and I'm gonna show you guys that. You see how the entries in the tournaments, so I can compare. And I want you to look very care very carefully at this guys at the bottom i'm crooked i didn't even realize i'm sorry guys let me try to correct this see if i can tighten the camera a little bit now probably about as good as i can get it maybe i can oh i got a tripod i'm being stupid i can raise this a little Try to make it so it looks even. Yeah, and you're looking at the SWAT at the bottom, just like I am. The very bottom of the screen is what I'm seeing. Okay, so this SWAT here, look how I won. And I'm going to show you guys in detail because this is very important. 338 was a winning entry for $2. And you can see the little green, the, the, you know, the blue dot at the top for the winning part. Great, great, great. I don't give a crap about that right now. I want to see all entries. First, ent I want to see who won the top. Because that's a really nice entry. I mean, and he didn't have it duplicated, too. On a seven-game slate, not duplicated. That's pretty impressive. And look at how it was done. It was Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. You took Allen because you knew he was playing one like a six-man rotation. Everyone's going to play. you got to be kidding me. Stevenson, and you have Jermichael Green at the bottom there. Gasol was a huge payout tonight, you know, even though Cousins gave 70. So this was a great lineup. But then let's go to the one that was kind of duplicated a little. But guys, believe it or not, I had a friend that had this lineup that follows this channel, the 396 lineup. It was incredibly good. And what did he do? A quadruple 
Memphis stack? Or is it triple? Or No, it's quadruple. It's Chalmers, it's Stevenson, it's Allen, and it's Green. And look, they won. When they're playing the JV team, you don't expect them to win. And they did somehow. So everyone paid, and you still had Cousins in there. Parker paid. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lineup. And we talked about all these guys, but we also talked about in the projections video about like last minute lineup changes and how the coaches are resting people. I talked about it in the day before's video. It's like you have to be on top of this stuff. And I'll even admit right now, if I had a little bit more time right before a lineup lock, I would have been able to do more. I'm, one of these entries probably would have been another winning entry. I probably had two in the top and two in the bottom because I like differentiation, but I didn't have enough chance to even change the lineups because it came. the news came like eight minutes before a lineup block or something like that. So how could you really do it? All right. Now, let's go to something more interesting here. Now, there was a lineup in all of the double ups and all of the 50 F 50s for 368. And you can see I'm scrolling through 100 and... Let's analyze this, guys. Let's go down to where the 368 is. I believe it was done by Projection Kings on Twitter, which has a lot of followers, and they retweeted that they had this lineup earlier tonight. And I believe... Uh, look at that one, though. That's highly duplicated, too. Well, no, I, I guess not. 370. You can see when all the numbers match, you know, and it goes down really suddenly. There was a lineup at 368.9. And if I'm, I have not looked at this yet, guys, but I'm going to bet you anything. And look at how the numbers go through, even when they're duplicated, which happens a lot on the seven game slate. They're only duplicated three, four, or five different times. These are people playing lottery tickets usually, you know, they do a lot. And then there's some smart people, and we're going to talk to you about this. Notice how he entered the exact same lineup 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. He entered it 10 times, and he won $15 with 374. That's a hell of a lot better than a double up, guys. And if any of you guys played those double ups tonight, you realize they're even higher than the cash lines I'm about to show you. I believe they were around 360 to 365. You needed a score like this to win a double up. But if you needed a score like this to win a double up, why would you not play $1 and win 15? 15! I'm almost yelling it because I'm about to make a huge point about what, what we're doing here. 540 is a good... Okay, this was probably an optimized lineup. Look at it. It's a 1044 and... Well, uh, 540 and then it jumps to 560. Uh, uh, 666, actually. Look, no, more than 100 people had this lineup. This was probably an optimized lineup that was given out to people. And the optimized lineups that are done, you know, they account for those injuries at the last second, and you can basically plug people in and know. At the last second, we knew that Butler was not going to play, and Etwan Moore was going to start, and he became a really good play right there. So all the Memphis players became great plays as soon as they sat everyone. Somebody tweeted me and asked if Vince Carter was going to be a good punt play. Anyone on Memphis was a good play today because the only play, as long as they played, I mean, if you had a player that sat, you were screwed. But And that happened to so many other people today, too. I mean, I had an entry with Vuvasic today, and because it came after a lineup lock and we're not like DraftKings, we're, I couldn't change it, so there was nothing I could do. But I'm going to move on. There was an entry, like I was telling you guys, at 368.9. And if I see it in 15, 12, 15 times in my double ups, here's another one. 864, and then it jumps to 891. That was duplicated about 30 times. 907, 907. Oh, 907 looks duplicated a lot. There's at 371.3. And then it goes to, what, 1007? How many times was that duplicated? We can do the math just by subtracting the top number from the bottom number whenever we find it. It was duplicated 100 times. And only paid $7, even at 371. I'm pretty sure that was optimized as well, guys. Somebody is giving those out to people and telling them to run them, and they have the last-minute lineup information, you know, and they know that they can plug in the players and exclude others, and when you can run projections on what the minutes are... These aren't hard things to do, really. You just set your computers for that. We went from 1,007 to 1,169. 
That's another optimized lineup right beneath it. Holiday, Chalmers. Did they have a double stack or a triple stack? They had Jamichael Green, which was the last second change, obviously. A Chalmers. And those are the only two that I was really thinking about taking no matter what. But then they threw in Dunleavy because, I mean, you had Butler out and you knew he was going to run. You had Etwan Moore. You had the Greek Freak. And everyone was thinking he was going to go really high. I thought for 48 and he only did 38. I mean, it was still, like, what you consider on a normal night, five times value. Yes, he paid it, but... Cousins, Davis at 9900 really didn't pay, but it doesn't really matter on a top lineup. It's still paying, so let's see. Let's keep going. We're still analyzing. 12 and 9. And remember, I told you that lineup was at 368.9. I bet you anything, there's a thousand entries with it or something insane. 1311, jumps to 1327, 1332, 1400. Where's this 368.9 entry? We're almost there. You guys are all like, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, 368.9. Now you see how it says position 1545 here? Let's see how long it even just takes me to scroll through as fast as I can. This was a duplicated lineup. This was given out, and tons of people ran it. Look, I, I'm not even... You see I'm not stopping, and it's... I, I didn't even... This is why we call it forecast, guys, we know. Okay, oh, how many? It, 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 the number changed. N <laughs> 1545 to 1967. 420 different entries. 420 in the SWAT with the exact same lineup yeah that's what it was guys I believe Projection King cave it out I'm not really sure but we'll find out I mean because I'm, I'm still digging up I had another person tweet me and say that you know they created on their own and I believe that as well because it's a smart individual and this is I mean pulling Memphis people in at the last minute there was a smart move when you knew that everyone was gonna sit somebody has to score for them uh, but when they really just went off like that instead of being a lottery ticket it became a paying ticket all right um, I think I proved that there and I'm gonna show it real fast anyways let's go back to the other results let's go back to those 50 50s I was showing you you needed 340 to win tonight guys 340. Yeah. 340. I am not kidding. Look at that. 51st in the league. So it didn't win. What was the winning entry? Even with a 70 point player, it didn't win. I need a 340.6. Point six. Point 0.6. Some of them won. Okay, and you guys want to know the difference here? The difference between the 350 league and the one that was only 335, 335, a couple paid, but the other ones didn't. The other ones that were done, look at the entry times. I'll guarantee you anything, these are earlier rather than later. I hope it shows me an entry, like, you know, damn it, come on, give. Okay, well. Uh, it's not going to let me show it, but the ones you enter tonight, if you're watching this video right now for whatever reason, those ones will pay slightly higher. They'll be the ones that are at 334, 340, and not 350. The ones that are entered at the very end with someone that has an optimized lineup that someone gave it to them, a 368. Let's, let's look at that one. Look at how, like, in a single entry contest, they're all the same, you know, different scores, really, different names. 368.9. You got 11 entries, and this is a 100 entry contest. It fills the screen. 10 people have that entry. 10. Let's go to another one. Don't, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the same one. Let's go to one that I won. Same thing, though. Still had to beat him. 368.9, number 8. 
Oh, this one only had five entries with it. I'm impressed. We got a little lucky on that one. Maybe that's why it was so low. Maybe. Let's see what this one was at 340. 368.9. Number 7 through number 15. We took eight entries in a... That's 8% of it. You guys really think that there's... Uh, there can't be that much differentiation. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Let's go to the other one that I won. It was all over the place, guys. This this one lineup. There it is again. Number 7. All the way through to number 20. 13 different entries. This is an optimized lineup, guys. And I believe it came from Projection Kings. I'm not sure. But this is done because, you know, at the last minute you can project things if you know that certain people will sit and it's going to completely change the game around. Alright, move on to bankroll management. So, bankroll management is going to be something like this. When you place a bet in FanDuel, generally, if you're a beginner or you're new, you want to do something what I've done here. You want to bet in a $1 50-50 league where essentially the top half wins and the bottom half loses, but the line is usually, and I'm saying this usually, lower than what you need to cash in a tournament entry. And tournaments are the type of contest where you see where you can win a whole bunch of money at the top, but in reality, only the top 20% win. Okay, so... Cash line, 343.6, 334.5, uh, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, 340, Wow. And a Memphis quadruple stack, right? Uh, we had Chalmers, we had Allen, we had Stevenson, and we had Green. Yep, a, a, a quadruple stack. There you go. And he wasn't duplicated. Really nice. Oh, sorry. We're going to go to all entries and go to the bottom of the caching line. I cached at 338, but the bottom caching line was 336.8, which paid out... Well, I was telling you guys 340 was the cashing line for cash in a 50-50 game. Why is the line to make actual money almost double? It was two dollars. It paid 363. That the uh, a, a normal two dollar double up pays 360. This paid three cents more. It, yeah, it's three cents, but it actually paid more, and at a lower cashing line. And here's the best part of all. Look at this, guys. The one dollar. All entries, well, what was the top? Three ninety nine. So the person that had put done the four hundred two have entered it here, he'd have won ten grand. Sometimes you really want to enter a buck. Maybe he missed the deadline, he didn't do it the night before. I don't know. That's really not up to me. That was him. I was at three thirty eight and I cashed two dollars. Perfect double up, right guys? One dollar pays you two. Great double up. And at 338, it wasn't even a worry tonight on the $1 huge swat. Look what the cashing line was. 324. And they paid 41 cents. So, you know, forget that. You need a 324.1. We had a 338 night tonight, guys. We did good. We did really, really good. So, if the cashing line for a GPP is 324 on the $1, 336. You know, 336.8 for the $2. And then 340 around average for a 50 50. Does anyone think that you should maybe enter 10 entries or 100 entries if you really are going to play some money for double up in the SWAT? What's going on down here, guys, is Nighthawk Fisher. Yeah, he's got a great one. But you know what? I want you guys to go keep on running through all his entries. I did this. I researched it. There he is again at number three. Duplicated. 
this is a gentleman and I respect him and this is a gentleman that enters 100 different entries using a computer and makes lottery tickets and sometimes that lottery ticket pays ten thousand dollars and eleven hundred and fifty but he entered one hundred dollars to do it and he doesn't win first place every single night now when you enter a hundred times though on a smaller slate you can do quite well but I think I want to focus on something more like this look at my man Epi here I'm gonna assume he was born you know January 25th 1988 ten years younger than me good for you he pulled a 396 notice that he entered it twice the exact same lineup he won twice one dollar paid him three hundred and sixteen dollars two dollars paid him six hundred and thirty three if you're a guy looking to double up why would you not go here where you have so many people like him also entering a hundred other entries down at the bottom that didn't pay that are cushioning your lineup all these guys are paying two hundred dollars Here's Night Hot Fister again, was right at the top. And this time he only pulled 50 bucks. So you really have to hit the top. And that's why they're doing a hundred different entries to do it. It's a lottery ticket. Okay? Enter the $1 SWAT guys from now on if you're trying to double up. Because we have so much lottery ticket differentiation in the $1. It seems to be the lowest paying line that you can go and you can make the most money on it. So if you're trying to double up your money, maybe enter $10. And let's go back to my recent resolved and go back and see what happened on the last one. Because I have entries in the shot from, this one says 3.7, we need to go to 3.6. But I want to prove to you guys, that this is not some stupid strategy that I'm just coming up with and here we go. I had a 3.31. It paid cash lines it did not pay the SWAT actually, but it was very, very close. Look at that. It was close. Put all entries. What was the cashing line? And yesterday was a nuts day. You needed three, or the day before, you needed 343. I was close. And I didn't win some 50 50s. I mean, I'm showing these ones as winning, but there were some I didn't win. It just happened that way. I had a 320 there. And we can go back a day before, too, and see the same kind of behavior. It just really doesn't make sense. Let's see what the cashing line was on this. This was a late night entry with a small slate. You needed 283 to cash this, and I got 299. That's pretty good. Uh, what was this, though? 299.4 or 299.9 that one doesn't bear out what I'm saying but I, this has happened so many times maybe it's here too yeah look there's a good example of it right there there's the one dollar swat where look I basically lose a two dollar lead I win a one dollar fifty fifty which are your best bets besides the one dollar swat at this point but I lose the two dollar uh, you know, the free plays and the daily free rolls, those are so hard to hit. I mean, you're top 100 out of 56,000. Oh, forget about those guys. But, I mean, I won, a two, I won a one. I lost a two at a 294. And then, you know, the SWAT, though, it, it was a straight double up. It wasn't even a dollar eighty. It's two full dollars. And the line was probably lower. The cashing line was 288. Let's see if my cash line from here was higher or lower. Two eighty eight would have barely, barely cashed. And look guys, you would only want on one extra eighty cents. Why not go for a full buck? And if you actually did land near the top, really? I mean come on. You're gonna win a ton. Imagine if you split that three hundred dollars that guy won tonight like a hundred different times or whatever the hell it is. Okay, I'm on three seven. Where is my good lineup now? Because now I'm in there it is, right here.
Imagine splitting 396, but doing it a hundred times at number position number three. This is where, now I'm gonna do this for upcoming because it makes sense. I want to just show you that it's the exact same contest, exact same prize structure. How the prize structure really matters. You win $10,000 at first prize. Guys, what do you think a good lottery ticket win is? If you just win a free ticket, or let's say you win, like you played a $1 ticket and you won 10 bucks. You played a $10 ticket and you won 100. So one for 10 or 10 for 100, I think we're just gonna go like add a zero and you need to be in between 550 and 800 to make $10. You have 117,000 entries, guys. You need to be the top 0.7%. The top 1% that they always talk about, just to make 10 bucks. The vast majority of the winners here, 8,500 to 23,000, which covers basically 8% to 20%, two bucks, you double your money. And then the 4%, or actually about 3% or so, you know, 3.5% to 8% pays triple. You have to be in the top 3% to even get quadruple. Which is still good though. I'll, I'll take that with the way these things have been going because what's happening is you have these people and look at the max entries there at the top. It says 250. You have people that are entering 250 times and they're putting in crappy lineups because it might happen, it might not, but they're just trying to hit. And all those crappy lineups at the bottom are what's cushioning your score to make it so that you win. We gotta go to recents again. All these shitty lineups at the bottom that they've entered, they have. These winners, I'm telling you, they have. I hope I can find his name here real close. So if I could, it would just make the perfect video, but I don't need to really. I mean, you guys can see already. I think the smart strategy is like this man here, Prodigy. Enter five times or 10 times. And if you hit 338, which really didn't cash a 50-50 today. Look at this smart gentleman. He entered his exact same lineup five different times, did this exact same one, and he doubled up his money at the lowest cashing line of the night. All right, this is almost a 30-minute video. It's midnight my time, guys. I gotta go to bed. I gotta do projections for you tomorrow. They have credited my money for tomorrow. Beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys something right now. I have an upcoming entry. You can go ahead and look at it, guys. I'll explain this tomorrow. I have Wall, Huertas, Depot, Clarkson, Leonard, Porter, Young, Morris, and Towns. I'm going to add 10 entries right now. I think this is the way to double up, guys. I don't think there's any other way you really want to do it. <laughs> there's my money, guys. All right. Go ahead. Review it again one real fast. All right, guys. This is your bonus results video for tonight. You will get projections and everything that you expect tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. This is also bankroll management. Always play smart. I didn't really talk about that. If you only have a few bucks, enter just one or two in this SWAT and just be done. Try to save your money, guys. All right? I hope you all enjoyed the video. Good night. Love you all. Talk to you tomorrow.